What is going on? I'm Zedmon. We are here on my youngest son's account. Yes, he has a higher level account than my older son, but anyways, that's not the important bit. What we're going to do is we're going to look over here at Hammerman's HQ level 30. We're going to hopefully be able to take it down. I have the magic marker loaded. Now, if you have a look at this boom cannon, it covers basically all of this extra GBE over in here. Also, same thing with that sniper tower. It also covers this one. So going to the left, although it looks very, very appealing, you end up having to use four artillery to get rid of this sniper tower, obviously depending on what level you're on, and you have to have three to get rid of this boom cannon. So lots and lots of GBE. And in the meantime, this sniper tower is probably taking out some of your troops as you're flanking around the outside. So going to the left, I don't really like it. It looks really, really appealing. All of this spare GBE back there has made it look so, so good, but it's just not worth it, I don't think. I like to come into the right-hand side. We have shocks, so we can shock all three of these things, all six of these things, I should say. And this um, cannon right here is a very low level, so we can get rid of that fairly easily. So we only really need one shock. We can just walk up the right side, and as long as we stay somewhere to the right-hand side, out of this mini cannon's range, we should be okay. Now, this... Let's get rid of all of the stuff on the screen because that's just confusing. This boom cannon does range a lot of the core, but our warriors, we can make wrap around here. And if we have extra GBE, we can get rid of that boom cannon. So overall, the left, the right hand side is much, much easier. You don't have to worry about flaring quite so much. You don't have to be quite so precise or perfect. Now this account is just primed for upgrades. His landing crafts are all level five primarily, so definitely, definitely need some upgrades. He's been lagging a little bit behind on that, but his gunboat is a decent level. We're looking at level 10 maxed for the HQ level, HQ level being level nine that is. And as far as his armory, we're looking at level two warriors, level seven artillery, and level three flare. So all of those things are maxed for the HQ, which is perfect. Please do upgrade your artillery, upgrade your flares, and then upgrade your troops at the end. As far as statues go, all reds and purples, which is great. 6% gunboat energy idol, which is just so sad. 17% resource reward guardian, 11% GBE Guardian, poor guy, got the short end of the stick on that. 8% Troop Damage Guardian, and then another idol of 7% Troop Health. Has not had a lot of statues. Now, that's one thing that you, reason why you want to attack this as soon as possible. This unlocks Imitation Game every Friday. That's a whole whack load of red statues. Lots and lots of red stones. Very, very good for low levels. And on top of that, lots and lots of resources as well. As you can see here, the trader has been very, very good to him. So he's holding way more uh, iron than he can actually have capacity for. And his vault is actually holding a huge percentage of that. One of the beauties of getting good uh, crates from the trader. Anyways, now that we've covered the stats, we've covered the warriors. Let's have a quick look. Kevin Cavon here, level two. We're going to use crystal critters. Ice shields might be useful, but I like the extra healing because we are still going to have probably one rocket launcher and one mortar hitting us. This mortar does hit a good chunk, probably in here. So um, we're going to keep our extra shields, extra crystal critters. And that's about it. I mean, we don't need to shock until they get between these two rocks. Always a good idea to have a look at landmarks, see when you need to start shocking. We can probably shock a little bit later because the boom cannons aren't gonna shoot instantly. All up to you, your comfort levels with shocks and all of that stuff. Now, I am gonna drop my troops on the far, far right, and that is just because of this cannon. I want my troops to approach from the right so they default to the right as, to, as opposed to splitting down the middle. I hope that makes sense. Anyways, Enough talking, let's just get into it. We're gonna drop our troops, see how we can do, and hopefully take down Hammerman's HQ 30. If you're wondering what the blur is up in the top left-hand corner, it is all because my son's name, I can take that off right now, um, but 
I'll probably forget to put it on at the end when the base gets exploded, so I'm just going to leave it up. Hopefully that's not too annoying. If it is, please let me know and I'll try and figure that out for future videos. Anyways, let's just get into it. We're going to drop all of our warriors. And we can drop, I like to drop Kavan first, because you know he's not going to go anywhere. He's just going to get up to the edge of the beach and just hang out there. He's just waiting for something to do. And then we're going to drop all of our warriors in behind him as they activated that rocket launcher. Probably wasn't the right call. Now, throwing the shock directly between the boom cannons. That's all it takes. Throw your shock directly, directly between the boom cannons. And I forgot to remove that cannon like I said I was going to, but let's do that now should be able to continue clearing all the way through this. Remember how I said I was going to use crystal critters because I needed to clear all the way through this? Well, obviously all of these buildings are going to be gone. Now we are losing a couple to those. Let's get over into here, away from that boom cannon, and then we'll run back into here, trying to stay away from that boom cannon. We're not going to have enough GBE to get rid of it. So we're going to drop crystal critters right now. And that should do it. Now, I forgot to get rid of that cannon, but it actually worked out for the for our best. I mean, we didn't need to get rid of it because it didn't range the front stuff on the right. And at this point, we're just in a free snipe mode. There are such things as free snipes for warriors. Not a complete free snipe, so we do have some things hitting us, but very, very easy. There was not a lot of skill in there, not a lot of effort, not a lot of forethought. Just go to the right and you can get it. And look at all of these rewards. Just so, so huge. Two shards, three shards, two crystals, five frags. I have a hard time identifying those on under the gun for whatever reason. Lost four warriors. Probably did not need to lose that many. But if you watch, it's all about the stuff on the left-hand side. This stuff on the left-hand side definitely was the, was the issue. I think this cannon took down, I would say, one or two. Dropping Kavan early, I would avoid doing that. Let's get rid of these circles in here. By dropping Kavan early, we activated this rocket launcher. So don't do that. I, when I said he was going to hang out, no, he actually drew the fire of the rocket launcher. So... Don't do that. Drop them all at once and you'll have no problems. There is, we're going to slow this down just a bit so we can show exactly when things started ranging. So you see that cannon at the back. We, we just move your shocks back. Move your shocks back. What is that? Four tiles or something like that. Now I probably should have flared. Look at this. We're about to lose a warrior as soon as that mortar goes down. So if you're gonna do this right about now, if you throw a flare right about here, you can probably carry on to the headquarters or you might even flare all the way back here and then just try your best to run past those machine guns. You will have two rocket launchers shooting at you, but you should be able to overheal that. I probably safer to deal and get rid of this rocket launcher. Having only one rocket launcher shoot at us made a big big difference i think anyways you'll notice right about now we start to lose troops boom cannon turns cannon turns down goes one of our warrior dudes down goes a second warrior just flaring way way too late there is zero advantage to taking out that machine gun we do not need to get rid of that machine gun at all just run run away get to the sideline, get over to the dock, and then just run to the back. That's it, that's all. Hopefully this helped you take it down. It is a difficult base when you first look at it, but overall, not all that bad. And now look at this, look at this. He can make his first masterpiece. Likely it's probably gonna be like a 15% troop damage or something ridiculous like that, but Hopefully all goes well and he gets a 32% troop damage on his first statue. That would be absolutely magical and many, many people would hate him as a result, but I'm okay with that. Anyways, that's it. That's all. Try to take down all of the big bad boss spaces. Hopefully you guys like this series. Hopefully it has helped you proceed in the game, whether it's making a second account or your, it's your first time working your way through these. Anyways, I'm Zedmot. I upload YouTube videos about Boom Beach somewhere between four and seven times per week. Please, if this helped you, consider subscribing, sharing, liking, or, but more importantly, just throw me a comment. I love hearing stories about when people beat these things for the first time. Uh, if you did it a little bit differently, if you liked the strategy or if it didn't work for you, 
Anyways, that's it. That's all. I'm Zedmot. As always, thanks for coming in. Peace.